Okay, so let's now go ahead and look at the markup that we need to make this work. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing the markup as a sort of template for how we want this to replicate. Because it would be uh, very annoying if we had to, you know, specifically build this plugin for one use. We want to be able to change our markup around in future if we want without having to change the JavaScript code. So let's go ahead and create a container and then what we'll do is look at how we want to use the load more plugin and then in the next video we're going to actually build the plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a uh, wrapper for everything here. So we'll give this a class of articles and this is just what we'll target with our plugin. So now what I'm going to do is create a generic container which you would find anywhere you want to use this and I'm going to call this items. So within this is going to be each of the items so the items will duplicate within this as we click load more. So I'm going to create a, another container in here called item and within this is going to be all of the data that we want to display. So in this case I'm going to create a header, I'm going to create a paragraph and that's it. So inside of here, what do we want to display? We want to display the title and the ID just so we can keep track of everything. So we need a span in here and I'm going to create some brackets here and create another span. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, uh, I'm going to add a data attribute to each of these and what that means is that our JavaScript can then can then use the data attributes to fill in the data that it needs to. So I'm going to say data field equals title. And the same with this as well. That's the ID. And then in here, the paragraph. Description. So these are the names, title, ID, description of the basically the properties that we're bringing back from the back end so whatever these are output as we want to go ahead and choose these here and that will mean that when we ajax to that file it will know which uh, or it will know where to insert data and the reason that we're using spans inside of here is we want two different bits of data both within the h3 so we just use spans which are generic inline containers for this so we've basically, well, we've nearly finished writing the markup. What we need to do now is actually go ahead and create our load more button. So let's go ahead and write this down here. So the href for this is literally just going to be a hash. And the class here, so we can target it within our plugin, is going to be items load. And we'll go ahead and give this whatever label we want to so load more. So at the moment this looks like this, it doesn't look great, but load more eventually is going to load more and instead of this being two parentheses like it is now, it's going to go ahead and load the initial two, the first two. Now you'll also notice that I have jQuery loaded in here from Google uh, hosted libraries and I also have the js slash load more .js file loaded in as well. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and fill in the JavaScript needed to start to populate this. And then we'll create the handler to go ahead and actually fill everything in. But let's go ahead and just quickly look at how we might want to call this plugin. So inside of just some script tags on the page here, you'd probably uh, create this in an external file or something. But what we do is we do a selector on the articles container. And here we go ahead and we call the plugin and we're going to call our plugin load more. And inside of here we have an object with different settings. Let's just indent this. So the settings are going to be the source. That's the, probably the most important because the source is obviously the source of the data. And in this case, I want this to be articles.php because articles.php is in a directory. We created the back end and it loaded the JSON and it output the JSON. And then we want the step. So I'm going to choose the step to be two. And this obviously means that it's going to load two articles. When we hit load more, it's going to load another two articles. So that's the markup that we create. 
what's going to happen is is this item here is going to be duplicated with JavaScript so initially we'll see two of these duplicated on the page and then obviously as we click load more they'll be duplicated another two times and another two times when we click load more again so that's basically the markup and how we call the plugin let's jump over and start actually writing this plugin